the show's continuing coverage of Eastern League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Eastern League's Western Division and the Eastern League's Eastern Division. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Teddy Stankiewicz, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Digging in, Cole Peterson, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The ball game tonight. Not your stop. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. First pitch, 7 5 And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0-2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder coming on. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now, on the bump, has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep but I'm telling you a good hit and run taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. Bases are empty one man out. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Temperature here at the park tonight, a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. One out, nobody on. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. 3-2 pitch. Gets him looking. Strike three. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate, Elliot Ramos, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The 1-0. Oh, inside. Popped him up. Levine will put this one away, and his side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Alex Fajardo, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Into the box, Derek Hoover. He'll lead things off here in the bottom the half of the first. No left fielder, Derek Hoover. Pitch on the way. No. Inside. 
Well, it should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. Two balls and a strike. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Batting second. For the moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. Grant Levine stands in as he looks at ball one here. Bases are empty, one man out. And well off the plate with the change of pace, that's ball two. Non-competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2-0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. with that one it's ball four a one out walk here in the home first batting third the designated hitter Dan digging Lee. in the switch hitter Donald. Sandy Donald as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here yeah he's not quite as powerful from the left side he's certainly not Chipper Jones who had pop from both sides of the plate much more pop hitting right handed one ball no strikes to count Levine stands at first with one out. Runner, He's go, running. He's going. He swings and misses. Throw oh, down. Oh, okay. Is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike, and count. Line drive, base hit. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. In now, Tristan Casas, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. Pulled toward right center field. Swaggerty is there and he has it for the out. That is good. The right field. Jared. Jared. Standing in, Jaron Duran, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. I guess their scouting reports on this guy were dead on because it's already 2 nothing in the early going. And they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. Into the box, Logan Forsythe, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. The 0 
one pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the top half of inning number two. The East Stars are on top, two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Caesar Avila, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a good slider here to start the at bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1 0. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting fifth. No left fielder. Logan. Hill. Striding into the box, Logan Hill, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw on to first, two gone. Well, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, me. Now at the plate, Ryan Ripken. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Now the one and one pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Last half of the second set to go, and now it'll be the catcher, Connor Wong. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Liner towards second. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Stepping into the box, Logan Warmoth. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. One out, nobody on. Full count now, three and two. Hit out towards second. 
He's got it. And there are two away now. Batting ninth, the center fielder, Everson Pereira. At the plate, Everson Pereira will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. At the ball. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. The 1-1. One, one. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. The one two. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Fielder looking up and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left as it's now a three nothing ball game. Hey, that wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. Standing in now, Derek Hoover, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. Ball two. No break. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and oh now. Pitch on the way. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Three and one, here it is. Swinging a soft liner, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. So it's one run on one base hit, the home run, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll go now to the top of the third. The East Stars lead it three to nothing. Connor Wade, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 30, Connor Wade. Now at the plate, Taylor Gushu, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Wade, a 27-year-old, he throws a four-seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. The windup and the 0-1. On, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Hey, obviously he had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one, slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. Try to bounce a curveball on 0 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. He stays alive, still 2 and 2. And the pitch. 
And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And there's their first hit of the game. Dan, how frustrating that must be. Eight pitch at bat, and he's able to Batting work it. a base hit. He, oh, he base threw hit. everything but the yeah. kitchen sink at him. He threw off-speed pitches, go. fastballs, and on the eighth pitch, left one out over the plate. Just enough for a base hit. <laughs> to the plate now, Chad Setio, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. 2 0 well count, the pitch. Looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. Stepping in now, number 83. And he puts it on the ground to second. Taken in by Forsyth. There's one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Digging in for his second at-bat, Cole Peterson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat and a good fastball there but this just misses the zone for ball one can't get around quick enough and that'll move the count to one and one Two and, one. two and one. Two out with the man at first. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Gonzalez will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 25, Brian Gonzalez. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the fleet footed first baseman, Grant Levine. Now the pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot here to left center field as they move on top four to nothing. That's why you got to pay attention in the on deck circle. He was calibrating his heater right there, checking out the off speed stuff, and he didn't wait around. First time he's seeing him, didn't matter. He took him deep. So now to the plate, Sandy Donnelly. 
Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope, at the ball. One and one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Ball and two. this is low, ball two. Two and one. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. The 2 1 home. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he can take you out of the yard. Three-two pitch. Is swung on and missed strike three. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what now they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box now, Tristan Casas. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Gonzalez, just 24 years of age, he was selected in the third round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty. One man out. Now just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Fouled off. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. Into the box, Jaron Duran. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Nope. And he takes this one high, one and one. Two out, nobody on. In for strike two. A hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Still one and two. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We played three full. It's now a four nothing ball game. Eric Pardino, 5'10 right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 20, Eric Pardino. All set for the start of the fourth. And standing in the outfielder, Travis Swaggerty. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. Fouls this one off.
Here's the 2 1 home. Monty gets him to wave at that one. It's 2 and 2. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Well we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days pitching has become a full staff effort and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate Elliot Ramos. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 0. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Now the 2 0. Outside, 3 and 0 now. One out, nobody on. Three and one. Great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cesar Avila. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch. One oh. Now the one oh misses ball two. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. Four. Three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Cody Sedlock is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Now pitching for the Western Division. Number 59, Cody Sedlock. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Logan Forsythe looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Hit to short. Scooped up. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. 
So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next to hit is the catcher, Connor Wong. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Sedlock, a right-hander standing six foot three. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curve, and a two-seam fastball. Now the 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Swaggerty has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now batting. The shortstop. Logan. Digging in to try it again. Logan Warmoth. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they can certainly roll to. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Number 40 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 40, John Torres. New inning set to get underway, and next it'll be the outfielder, Logan Hill. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. The 1 0 home. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Two and one. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. The 2 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting. The first baseman. Ryan. Ripken. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan Ripken. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First delivery to him on the way. The 1-0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. That one's in there on the black, two and one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The 2 1. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Guide down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. On the ground to third. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. The catcher. Taylor. Got two. 
Striding in, Taylor Gushu. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. One and oh, the count. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, and oh, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. And here's a fastball for a strike, 2-1 and one now. towards center field and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. James Marvel gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 74 James Marvel. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Everson Pereira. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes now. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. misses and we're even at two and two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer and that's out number one. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on and he had no answer for it. In now, Derek Hoover, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Fouled away. One one home. Line to the right side, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. The first baseman, number thirty-four, Grant Levine. Now at the plate, Grant Levine. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And that misses inside 1-0. and Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and oh now. Now the 2 0. Line drive, base hit to right. So a nice job there by the two hole hitter to extend the inning for the middle of the order. Now battle. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it.
Now a throw over to first. Runner back safely. To the plate now. Sandy Donald batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Set with the 0-1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Hill is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One hit, one left. Five innings complete. The East Stars are on top, four to nothing. Matthew Kent takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. For the Eastern Division, number 31, Matthew Kent. Into the box now, Chad Cedillo. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss, looked like the slider there, a ball and a strike. It's fouled away. Kent, a 27 year old, he throws a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two seam fastball. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Stepping in now, number 83. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. One out, nobody on. And he lays off for ball one. One and two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. The one two. There's a fastball taken high for a ball. Still two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Right fielder coming on. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now that is not your stop. Goal. Peterson. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cole Peterson. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and he pops him up. And this will land foul. Line toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey guys, he doubled up right there. Back to back sliders. Nice job by the batter right there. Just misses the first one. Makes the adjustment. Stays a little shorter. And drives the next pitch for a base hit.
So now to the plate, Travis Swaggerty, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. A bare-handed pickup. Safe. That was a phenomenal stop, but it winds up a base hit, and the inning continues. That's one of those do or die plays right there, D Road. Good job there by the third baseman to get it. Has to do that bare hand. That was a strong throw to the first base, but just not in time for an infield single. Yeah, Dan, you practiced this one in spring training, the bare hand from the third baseman. It's not easy. Again, all your momentum's going towards home plate, and you try and find a way to redirect that ball to first base. One of the best in the business, but even he couldn't stop it from being an infield single. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh and one delivery and he misses with it one and one two men are on with two men out and that misses two and one a hey, time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Two down, runners at first and second. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The 3 2, one more time. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home fouled off grounded to short right to him and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Trevor Oaks enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 93, Trevor Oaks. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Tristan Casas. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Oh. Now here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. Hey. 
up in the zone for him and he takes a cold strike too. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And now pitch on the way. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. And that's out number one. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Stepping into the box, Jaron Duran. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. The 2-0 on the way. 3-0 and oh now. Logan Forsythe waits on deck. One out, nobody on. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. At the plate, Logan Forsythe, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First things first, here's a throw over. A dive, but he's back. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Runners on first with one down. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Ripken takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Now batting. The Kester. Carter. Ready now, Connor Wong. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in. Two out with the man at first. And again a throw and a dive, but he's back in there. Now the 1-0. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now the 2-0. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Stephen Belines is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 15, Stephen Alex Call is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Call.
And they start him out away with a cold strike. Comes set and the 0 1. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. One. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. The left fielder, number 23, Logan Hill. Gio Brusa will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Number 28, Gio Brusa. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. Back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center. And he's got himself a one out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Electric. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Forsyth has it to second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The East Stars lead it four to nothing. Gio Brusa will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Number 28, Gio Alexis Pantoja remains in the game, batting ninth and manning first base. Ethan DeCaster gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. DeCaster. Ready once again, Logan Warmoth will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. First pitch of the at bat. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. The 0 and 1 delivery. 4 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The count now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Ground ball left side. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Now batter, the center fielder, Everson Pereira. Everson Pereira will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling.
be set. Here it comes. And that's in there for strike one. All one's the count. A one pitch on its way. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw gets him two down. The left fielder, number 10, Garrett Hoover. Michael Pius will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Number 7, Michael Pius. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Fouled away. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Long run for the right fielder. But this will land untouched. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up, throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Eighth inning coming up. The East Stars are on top, four to nothing. Michael Pius remains in the game, batting eighth and manning left field. Michael Pius. Kyle Dowie has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Kyle now batting Taylor Gushu. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Dowie, 23 years old. He throws a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two seam fastball. That's Lays off two. again, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. Two balls, no strikes. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Chad Setio is on deck. Three 0 pitch is looked at for the first strike. One pitch. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so so now we've got a battle on our hands. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Duran is there, one away. Now batting. Third baseman. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings.
settling in now. Chad Setio. He went down on strikes last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. One out, nobody on. And there's ball one. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Reined in. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now batting. The second baseman. Digging in now, number 83. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 and 0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two out, nobody on. And that's going to be high two and two now. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. Cole Peterson would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. And that'll get down for a two out single. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The East Stars lead it four to nothing. The Johannes Almingo is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38. Chris Gittins is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. Now here's the pitch. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there in advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Austin Wright will come on now as the pinch hitter. Pinch hitting for the Eastern Division, number 27, Austin Wright. In there for strike one, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. 
fastball laid off well below the knees. This is line to left. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. Now batting the third baseman. Clifton. Chad Laguerra will come on as a pinch hitter. For the Eastern Division, number 71. Chad Delagera. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Hits are even right now at five aside. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Chris Gittins will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Number 71, Chad. Chad DeLaguerra will stay in the game, taking over at third base and batting in that nine spot. DeLaguerra. Now Brian Moran comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. For the Eastern Division, number 48, Brian Ryan Howard is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth, and with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. The one two. Slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. The 2 2 one more time, fouled off. Fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a liner. Foul. Another 2 2 offering. Okay. 
Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. They've locked horns. Here's the next offering. Right side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Hey, that's a heck of an approach right there. Lead off single in the late innings. Team's down a little bit. Let's see if this ends up being a huge turning point in this one. Kean Wong. Come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 32. Kean Wong. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. A runner at first with no outs here. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Not what you want to do on the mound. Go from 0-2 to 3-2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. Line toward the alley in left center, and that'll get down for a base hit. All you can ask as an offense is to try and get that tying run in the batter's box. And that, they've started out nicely right here. They've gotten two runners on. They're down four. Grand slam is still in play. Let's see if they continue this nice offensive approach. Simeon Woods Richardson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Guy Tom will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Here it comes, 2-0. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Your offense goes out and gives you a four-run cushion. You have to find a way to stop struggling. Compose yourself and get your mechanics on point. It'd be a shame to let this one slip away. Here it comes, the 3-0. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, he's a youngster. You can see he's a little nervous out there. Some people call it butterflies, but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut. Going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. Joey Morgan will get a chance to really deliver off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the bases loaded and nobody out. Morgan. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. His guys trail by four, but the bases are juiced, so a home run ties it. A one pitch on its way. 
lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And there's a first step in the comeback. The sack fly makes this a four to one ball game. Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Jacob Hayward will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Jacob Hayward. And that swung on and missed for strike one. First and second now, one man out. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball, two down. Nick Ames will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Nick Ames. And a ball, 1-0. and From the stretch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Fouled away. Two men are on with two men out. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. Forsyth onto the grass, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The East Division jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Teddy Stankiewicz is the winning pitcher of record. Alex Fajardo only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.